Genesis chapter 11. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and fire them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built, and the Lord said, Look, they are one people and they have all one language. <clears throat> and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. These are the descendants of Shem. When Shem was 100 years old, he became the father of Arpachshad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after the birth of Arpachshad 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpachshad had lived 35 years, he became the father of Shelah. And Arpachshad lived after the birth of Shelah 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah had lived 30 years, he became the father of Eber. And Shelah lived after the birth of Eber 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived 34 years, he became the father of Peleg. And Eber lived after the birth of Peleg 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived 30 years, he became the father of Reu. And Peleg lived after the birth of Reu 209 years and had other sons and daughters. When Reu had lived 32 years, he became the father of Serug. And Reu lived after the birth of Serug 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Serug had lived 30 years, he became the father of Nahor. And Serug lived after the birth of Nahor 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived 29 years, he became the father of Terah. And Nahor lived after the birth of Terah 119 years and had other sons and daughters. When Terah had lived 70 years, he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the descendants of Terah. Terah was the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran was the father of Lot. Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth in Ur of the Chaldeans. Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah. She was the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah and Iscah. Now Sarai was barren. She had no child. Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out together from Ur of the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran.